Well, hello, tubers. Sorry about the noise. I've got a metal roof here in the car and it's raining. The good news is it's not snowing here in Western Canada and it's actually mild weather. And I'm about to embark on some winter camping. But uh, before I do, I need to tell you that I'm in big trouble and I could be going to jail for up to six months. Yeah, I'm going to jail for up to six months and or $5,000 fine for elections crimes. Yes, I have been notified by the Commissioner of uh, Investigations for Elections Canada for taking a voter selfie. That is the allegation. So I have been corresponding with Mr. Frenchie, we'll call him Mr. Frenchie, to protect his uh, identity. That is the name of the investigator that we'll call him. He has a French name, so that's what we'll call him, Mr. Frenchie. So Mr. Frenchie says, I'm in big trouble, and he needs to talk to me. <laughs> so I have invoked my constitutional rights to not speak to him and have advised him of my uh, current mailing address because he's under some wrong impression. He's uh, hybridized my mailing addresses and uh, the correspondence he sent to me was returned. So I've corrected him on how to get in touch with me so that I may surrender for arrest and uh, pursue this in court. <laughs> now, what have I done wrong? Uh, I'm going to put in the cards the allegation of what I have done wrong. Apparently, it is illegal in Canada to take a picture of your ballot when you vote. Now, uh, this is a very interesting uh, scenario because it, 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 it poses the question of should we not be allowed to present and be proud of our democratic rights under the Canadian Charter of Rights? and freedoms to, to express what we have done. I think it should be your right to express and be proud of your democratic franchise. Now, I did vote for a very uh, right-wing conservative party. That could be the problem, <laughs> considering we do have a liberal government right now, and uh, I did not vote for them. I did not vote for Trudeau. Now, Trudeau would probably be an okay guy to come around the campground and to do a few uh, beers. Or for him, maybe he likes to do little blackface bong, bong hits. I don't use cannabis, but, you know, Trudeau does. So good for him. That, there's no judgment there. Trudeau's probably a great guy for having a couple beers and doing some bong hits or something while doing blackface. And he'd be more than welcome to come to my campground, wherever I'm at, and, and do that. And I'd be nice to him, in spite of the fact he's a liberal and I didn't vote for him. But apparently I'm in big trouble because I did vote for a right-wing party and I did take the picture. That is the allegation that I did take the picture. <laughs> so uh, the question is, um, let's have this go to court and I'll tell it to the judge and we can try this out in court because as far as my investigation has determined, nobody has been prosecuted and sent to jail for this. But perhaps I could be the first one. Now, thankfully, this is not a felony. It's called a summary offense, so it's like a uh, misdemeanor. Uh, so it won't affect my ability to own guns or travel to the U.S. of A. So, uh, Carolyn's RV Life, you can relax. All you, the CCs, the Carolyn cronies, you can relax. I'm not being prosecuted for that, even though I know you'd like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all, it's all funny, crazy drama. But I am so glad that uh, Canada is willing to spend a lot of money on these very expensive investigators to put bad people like me in jail for taking a photo of my democratic right to vote. I'm, I'm glad they're spending money on that and keeping people employed. It's great. Now here's the big irony. While I don't talk about my personal life much, I will be a little specific on a few things. I've worked for many government agencies. Let, let me count in my head. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, maybe six. I've worked for six government agencies in my life, including the Ministry of National Defense and Elections Canada. <laughs> 
the bulk of the money I've ever earned in my adult life, including the money I make now from a pension from the government of Canada, the bulk of the money I've earned in my life has been made working for various government agencies, <laughs> including, get this, Elections Canada. I've actually been a deputy returning officer for them and been paid for those services that I've rendered. It's very funny. <laughs> oh, it's so hilarious that uh, they got nothing better to do but to do that. <laughs> So, uh, I've told them that I'm going to be traveling, but I'm willing to uh, surrender for my arrest and processing should they want to proceed further. And I'm, I'm very sincere in that regard. I really want them to uh, know that I'm willing to cooperate and have them process me, arrest me, and then we'll get a trial date and, and go forward and, and see if they really want to put... An old retired person like me, potentially in jail, for taking a picture of my ballot of a conservative <laughs> vote that I rendered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's hilarious. Um, now, I know you liberals out there, you probably think, well, put him in jail, put him in jail. He voted for the wrong party. <laughs> but I know I can count on the support of you conservatives in Canada and the United States out there that are seeing this. And uh, you'll realize how ridiculous this is and how much money they're spending on salaries to pursue a bad person like me who took a picture of my ballot in the ballot box, which apparently is illegal in Canada. <laughs> now, don't take this video as an admission of guilt because it obviously isn't because there are legal principles to be tested in the courts, you know, it's a matter of, let's tell it to the judge. <laughs> let's see if the uh, Charter of Rights and Freedoms, which have not been tested in this matter, will prevail. I'm pretty confident that my arguments will prevail. <laughs> Very confident, uh, in fact. And even if I didn't prevail in my arguments, pretty sure they're not going to put me in jail. <laughs> It would just make them look like idiots and worse people than I am for taking a picture of my proud ballot. Now, do I? Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think that people should have to show who they vote because that would be wrong. I think the voter ballot should be secret if you want them to be. There's no reason for you to tell anybody who you voted for. But if you are proud of who you voted for, I say you should be able to do that. And what's wrong with that? Tell me if you disagree in the comments below. <laughs> so let me show you some of the correspondence I have received and I've sent back to the commissioner <laughs> who was investigating me. So here's the official letter from the commissioner of Canada elections. I'm going to read it to you. Of course, I had to redact some of it. It is called a protected A document, which means that the government is obligated to protect this document because it has personal taxpayer information, which uh, obviously is about me. So I've redacted what needs to be redacted. Anywho, the body of the... So the body of the letter reads and warns on government letterhead, pursuant to subsection 510.2 of the Canada Elections Act, I wish to inform you that the Commissioner of Canada Elections has initiated an investigation into allegations that you have contravened subsections 281.8, subsection 1, subsection A and C of the Act by photographing and showing a marked ballot during the 43rd general election that took place on October 21st, 2019. Oh boy, I'm in trouble now, folks. Relevant sections of the legislation are as follows, and then it reads through all this crap. Anyway, I'm going to cut to the chase. No person shall distribute or show in any manner or persons a photograph recording or video or a copy of a ballot. Anyway, the uh, punishment... 
under 502. And uh, the regulations here. Every person who is guilty of a summary offense of any subsection, 4911, is liable under summary conviction, that's like a misdemeanor, to a fine of not more than $5,000 or to imprisonment of a term of not more than six months or both. Then uh, I've redacted some of the rest of the actual letter, but it uh, basically says investigators may contact you to request that you provide them with additional information to assist them in their work. Now, my response to them, of course, was I'm exercising my constitutional rights to not speak to them, and I welcome to speak to them in court, <laughs> because that's where we need to uh, solve this, is to actually take this to court because nobody has um, challenged this in court and I think it should be so without admitting guilt of any kind or admitting any facts of the case thus far that is my statement to them and I'm sure they're watching this video they're, they're subscribers now hey isn't that great I love it when the federal government of Canada subscribes to my channel it's, uh, it's just great I love you. Anyway, so this was sent from the, the, the big lady, uh, Mylene Gigao, uh, French name, Director of Investigations. Now, that's not the actual Mr. Frenchy. Mr. Frenchy sent this as an attachment. This is the, uh, the big lady in charge. Uh, so, anyway, uh, Mylene Gigao, I hope I'm uh, pronouncing your name correctly en français, you know, uh, je ne parle français très bien. But, you know, anyway, uh, yeah. So if you're concerned about my abuse of civil rights, uh, you may contact the Director of Investigations for Elections Canada and you may voice your concern directly to her in the Court of Public Opinion. Because if you think that it is correct to actually... Um, prosecute somebody that voted conservative and just took a picture of their ballot to be proud of their democratic rights, I think Miley Gagal, Director of Investigations, don't contact her home. I have no idea where she lives. Don't, don't be doxing her. I don't want to know where she lives. Contact her at her official office in Ottawa. Actually, Gatineau, pardon me. She's at 30 Rue Victoria, Gatineau, Quebec, K1A, 0M6. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope you're doing good there. Uh, well, Elections Canada, I uh, hope you prosecute me because I'm a horrible person and I probably deserve the firing squad for taking a picture of my Democratic uh, proud ability to vote for whomever I want. So, um, yeah, put me in front of the firing squad, and maybe Trudeau can pull the trigger <laughs> if he wants to. Hey, hey, he might have fun. He could do blackface while he's pulling the trigger and killing me. But whatever the case may be, uh, yeah, that, that's it. I'm a bad person, and I'm a big trouble. So uh, put your comments down below. Over and out.